creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What am I bringing to you today? Today is part two of this stinking adorable paper crafting Easter milk crate DIY thing that I brought to you the other day. Oh my word, I love paper crafting. It's something that I love to do because it's budget friendly and you don't need a lot of fancy tools to do it. All you need is a ruler, a pen, scissors, and some tacky glue, and you can do this too. Today I'm bringing you part two of this DIY, the bottom part of this, which is the milk carton holder here. This is an easy DIY. It's gonna take you maybe two pieces of cardstock, eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and uh, some of the scrap decorative paper that you have left over from the milk cartons. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it and let me show you just how easy the bottom part of this crate is to make with paper. You're gonna love this. So for this one, you're gonna need two pieces of a solid card stock. And um, I'm using 12 by 12 because I didn't have any yellow in eight and a half by 11. You only need an eight and a half by 11 sheet, two of them. And I will be using this coordinating Easter paper that goes along with the egg paper. For the base of our carrying case or our paper crate case, I'm gonna call it, you're gonna need your card stock, your solid card stock to be in the measurements of nine and one quarter by seven and a quarter. And again, for this, I am using my scoring board because I have it, but if you don't have one, Dollar Tree, again, has these amazing scoring and piercing tools. It comes in a two pack and they've got the perfect paper crafting ruler because it's clear, it's elevated. If you have this Fiskars cutting tool, you can always use this. No need to go getting a replacement blade of a scoring blade if you don't have one. You can use Dollar Tree's scoring tool and you just go right in the middle there and score or you can use the cap to one of the old school Bic pens. Works perfect. So to score this, it's real easy, this piece. We're gonna score at one and a half inches on all four sides, which means that once we score it, we're gonna rotate it Score it again at one and a half inches, rotate it. Score it again at one and a half inches, rotate it for the last time, and score it again at one and a half inches. Easy peasy. I wanted to share with you this 12 by 12 trim and scoring board that I found on Amazon by We Are Memory Keepers. This is an awesome buy for $17.69 with prime free shipping. I thought that this was a great all-in-one tool. I love it even better because it's 12 by 12 and the price is amazing. And so I picked up two of these the other day so Kayla, Allie, and I could paper craft together and not share tools. If you're interested in this scoring and trimming tool, you can find the link to it in my Amazon store in the description box below. On the long side here, we've got squares on each corner. We're gonna cut a slit on the scoring line, cutting it in. I'm gonna taper it in just a bit, just to make it extra neat. Cut this, we're gonna taper this one in too. Flip it around, do the same on this side. Go ahead and cut. Paper, cut, and taper. Placing your paper up and down like this so the long side is up, you're gonna take your ruler and on the top here, before the scoring line here, you're gonna measure in 
to three and five eighths, which is one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna make a dot, which is two lines after the three and a half mark on a ruler. We're gonna go down a bit and measure in again, three and five eighths. And we're gonna take our ruler and draw a line to connect the dots there. So we got the middle portion of our crate. We've got a line right down the middle there. We're gonna fold in all of our scoring lines. Using some of Aileen's tacky glue, you can get this at the Dollar Tree. This is a three ounce bottle. We're gonna put glue on all four tabs here. And we're just gonna fold it in. And what's great about using the Aileen's glue is you have a little bit of wiggle room to straighten anything out that may need to be straightened out. When you're using the tape, it's a one-shot deal. Okay, I am happy with how that looks. Our base is together with the line down the center. Now let's do the handle. Easy peasy. For this, you're gonna need an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Again, like I said in the beginning, you need two of those. And we're gonna cut this down to 11, which you don't need to cut by six. And because I had a 12 by 12, I was able to get two handles out of this piece because it was 12 inches. I'm gonna score at three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna score at five and a half inches. And again, at 10 and a quarter inches. We're gonna fold in our scoring lines on this here. So the two bottom ones go out, as you can see in this middle one, you're gonna fold down because this is going to be the center of our crate. For the decorative paper, the pieces and the sizes that you're gonna need to cut with that are two pieces here at five and a half inches by four and a half inches. These are the two larger ones. You're gonna need two here at six inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. And the last two are four and a quarter inches long by one and a quarter inch wide. And so with this, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of glue to the back of these. Okay, and these pieces are going to go, you guessed it, right here. And when you glue them on, you wanna make sure that your print is upright on both sides. We're gonna open this up, flip it over, and we are going to glue this shut. And we still got our flaps down here, so you don't wanna glue those. Those are going to be what we placed down in here. So we're gonna go ahead and place just a bit of glue on the bottom of these flaps here. And where this line is, that's just to help guide us as to where our center point is. So it's even. We're gonna take our last four pieces, the one and a quarter inch pieces, gonna add a bit of glue to those. I'm 
This is such a fun piece. And there we go. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that so fun? I love this. So the inside is a little bit floppy, this part, but once we put these adorable little milk jugs in here, oh my word, I can hardly stand it. Look at how cute this is. Oh goodness me. I just love this. Oh wait, we should do it. We'll do it the same. There we go. And would you look at how stinking cute that is. If you want, you can do your milk jugs this way. Either way, it really is up to you. That way is super cute too. I thought for Allison and Kayla, what would be fun would be to add a different candy to each of the cartons. All I can say is I am on cute overload. I love this. These are so fun to do. Paper crafting is very addicting and it's fun to do when you're just sitting in front of the TV on a Saturday or a Sunday and you have nothing to do. You pull out your paper crafting supplies and you paper craft, follow along with me. Once you do one, you can write it down and you can just follow the directions and watch a really great movie. I hope you all enjoyed this paper crafting Easter DIY. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And if you wanna see more easy to do paper crafting DIYs that are not my idea, that I'm just showing you how easy you can put them together, make sure you leave me a comment in the comments below and I'll bring them to you as I'm making them for myself here at home. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.